Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want to again talk to you about your own magnificence. Dear ones, you tend to forget the Creator inside. And that is the message I want to give you. Based upon some of the questions, even in this particular program from some of you, based upon what I know about human nature, you forget something. Or you never knew it. This is something you need to know. The human being walks this planet in an odd state. And that odd state is a neutrality that you come in with. You have free choice. And that's the way it has been designed. To go any way you want to with your consciousness, with your belief, with your actions. And in that there are no consequences after you die. And that is not what you have been told. That's part of the test of consciousness in general of humans. How will this planet go if left alone in an atmosphere of dark and light, of duality? What will it choose to do? We have answered this profoundly so many times before. You right now are in something called the shift. COVID is part of that. It is almost a reboot, a reawakening, the things that are most important to you. All of this is because humanity chose to move into a lighter vibration. We have told you this. That happened in 2012. It actually started happening a long time before 2012. Dear ones, my partner has been here for 32 years because I arrived to tell you this. I told you about the magnetic grid changing because of this. It needed to. To be part of a new consciousness because you're all related to the earth, to the magnetics of the planet, to the sentience of the planet, to Mother Earth itself. And consciousness was beginning to shift. The old darkness of the old ages was starting to diminish. New thoughts were starting to occur of higher integrity, of how you treat each other, of, of what you really truly want as a society, and the end of war, all of these things incrementally starting to change. You got to see it many years ago. I came in right at that juncture where the Berlin Wall fell down. If anybody put these things together, they would see why I have come. To guide you into a higher vibration. That's why I'm here. To tell you things you need to know about that. That's why I'm here. The first one I want to tell you is this, that as you increase your awareness of all of these esoteric things, as you perhaps even participate in the circle of 12, as you start to cognize or believe or know or see some of the things that we're telling you, that you start to understand more about and bring to yourself, as you do that, something happens. I'm going to give you not an esoteric model, but a, a metaphor that is solid, that you won't forget. You have a bubble of protective light around you. The higher thoughts that you can think, the more you claim to be aware, the more you, you claim to understand the love of the Creator and put it on yourself and, and practice it in your life, the stronger that bubble becomes. I want you to think of that as a bubble of light. And as you walk from place to place, dark things bounce off that bubble. Did you get that? Now, this is a metaphor, but it's the best one I have. 
So as you proceed, no matter where you are or what you do, there is this awareness bubble of yours, light worker, that cuts right through the darkness and will not let the darkness get in, especially if you are practicing compassion, if you are practicing the love of the Creator. It's almost like you are assuming and absorbing much of that which is the divine that has been given to you right at birth that you are now starting to see. Can't you feel it? I want you to understand this is a form of protection. And isn't it interesting that that protection is yours by how you think? It doesn't come from another source. Suddenly, the angels are not guarding you. The guides are not guarding you. It has come from you. Odd to think, perhaps, that it works this way, but it always has and always will. One of the questions of today, can evil entities, both esoteric and physical, attach themselves to me? Do I have to be careful of where I go or what I say or, or all these things? And I will tell you, dear ones, that the evil entities that might be candidates for that will see you coming and run the other way because you've got this bubble of light and they don't want anything to do with it. I want you to remember something. This is another metaphor. It is a great metaphor. Darkness is defined as the absence of light. As long as you don't have light, there can be a lot of dark things around. But as soon as light enters the picture, the darkness is erased. You realize that, don't you? If you have a black room just filled with darkness and, and things that go bump in the night or whatever, and you turn on the lights, they all leave because they cannot exist because of the definition. The darkness is the absence of light. Turn on the light, it leaves. Darkness does not want any part of you. Dark entities don't want any part of you because they can see the divinity coming. Wherever you walk, they leave. My partner has had this example time and time again. His first time that he presented at the United Nations in New York City, he was told by some who were supposed to know that he would be attacked by darkness if he went. He went, and what he discovered when he got there was the most beautiful, wonderful light and support that he ever, ever had had. He went in fear because he'd never gone to New York before, never been to the United Nations before. He didn't know what to expect, and everywhere he walked, he was received and he was loved. And that is when he understood and he knew that none of the soothsayers, no matter what kind of clothes they wear or the namaker they may have or the experience they said they had, were correct when they gave a doom message. He was protected by his own light. And that has been the way of it ever since. This is you, dear ones. This is the principle of light and dark, dear ones. And so I want you to understand this and hold it to, to yourselves. Understand it and know it as we say cognize it. In other words, make it your belief so that where you walk, you don't have to, to wonder for a moment whether you're in trouble from the dark side or whether something is there lurking. It's the opposite. Where you walk, they will not tread. Did you get that? And in that, you can help others. When you walk into a place where there's perhaps fear or there have been arguments or, or unkind words or any of those other things, you clear a path. Many times people fear, fear things, and when you arrive, somehow they feel peaceful. Did you ever have that happen, that your presence makes people very happy you are there. Sometimes they'll come over to you simply to stand in your bubble and you don't know why they're standing there. This is a truth. 
There is so much to be said for this. There are so many instances I could give you that my partner has seen this, that he knows it's absolutely true. He has no fear of where to tread or where to go and walks forward because he has that bubble. It's his divinity, his own divinity. Again, there is no entourage of protective angels in front of any of you. This is the power of your magnificence. This is the power of your own divinity. And in this new energy, dear ones, it is ratcheting up. In other words, it is more profound today than it ever was before because the energy on this planet at the moment is that which promotes and cooperates with light. You're going to see some things in this year of revelation, and you're going to wonder why is it that so many dominoes are falling so quickly, whereas in the past they never did. And now you know. I just gave you an answer for something that may occur in your future. And you will start to see what my partner has been saying all along. This is not your grandfather's world. This is different. And some of the things that are being portrayed on this planet right now are part of your grandfather's world. And they will not last. And they will be shocked when they find that out. This, dear ones, is a new age. It's an age of enlightenment, a promise, where light is starting to win. Be part of that. Understand it. Thank you for so many bubbles of light who are listening to this and watching this. Bless you for understanding that you are more than you think and you belong to something far greater than you ever thought. I am crying in love with humanity. And so it is.